So this is the subjunctive mood in Spanish. It's not really a tense. It's, um, it's something that doesn't really exist in English. It kind of expresses emotions and feelings, and you use it after what we call a trigger. So something that might make you um, use it after um, a particular phrase or sentence. So let's have a quick look at the formation. So there are tenses subjunctive. This is a present subjunctive. If you want to have a look at the imperfect subjunctive, have a look, have a look at that video. So it's fairly easy. We take the present tense of the verb and remove the O. Um, and this kind of gives us most of the irregular ones, really. Um, for example, if you've got ten air, it goes to tengo. So you take the O off and you're left with teng, T E N G. Um, but if you've got more common verbs like comer, como, take the O off, it becomes com, and then we add the endings. Now, if you know the present tense endings in, in Spanish, then actually these will look really familiar. It's just that they have swapped over. So these ones are more or less the ER uh, verb endings, and these ones are the AR verb endings. <clears throat> so we have AR verbs, and as I said, we take the O off, and then we add these ones. So it's E, S, E, Emos, E, N. ER and IR verbs, A, 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 Amos, I, Sam. Um, that covers, as I said, covers most of the irregular verbs, but there's a couple of common ones like this one. Ir tends to be irregular. Vaya, vayas, vaya, vayamos, vayas, vayan. And se, sea, 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 seamos, sea, sean. Okay, so let's have some uh, look at the uses. So one of them could be after cuando, when it refers to something in the future. Okay, not when it refers to something in the present or the past, but something when it refers in the future. <clears throat> So, for example, cuando sea mayor, when I'm older, cuando tenga el dinero, when I have the money. So, como se dice, how would you say, when I go to Spain, when we visit the cathedral, when we eat in Mexico? Pause it here and then have a look at the answers in a minute. Okay, so the answers. Cuando vaya, yo a España. Now I put yo in brackets because it could be he, she, and it. And the yo just kind of uh, emphasizes I'm talking about I. But you don't necessarily need it there if it's if it's understood in the rest of the sentence. Cuando visitemos la catedral. And the last one. Cuando comamos, comamos en México. Okay. So cuando, when it refers to something in the future that may or may not happen, then... Um, then we use the subjunctive, and the present subjunctive in this case. So what else? So we could have after expressions of doubt or possibility. So es posible que has to take the subjunctive afterwards. Es probable que. Es dudoso que. Dudar que. Now be careful of this one because this is actually a verb. So you change this verb here into the normal tenses, and then it's the next verb afterwards that would go in the subjunctive. However, if this verb is in the I form, and the next verb is the same person doing it, so in the I form, so I doubt, I will go to Spain, we don't need to use a subjunctive at all. We put this in the present tense, normal present tense, remove the que, and then the next verb becomes infinitive. And that's the same with anything. If this is in the he, she, it form, and then the next verb is also in the he, she, and it form, then we take the K out, put this in the tense that we need, and the next one goes in infinitive. So it's only where this verb, the person doing this verb, is different to the next verb. So I doubt he will come. I'm, in, I'm doing the doubting, and he's doing, he's coming. So I'm, I would put that bit in the subjunctive. Okay? So after dudar que, if there's a change in subject, then you put subjunctive. This one's similar as well. Pensar, I put the infinitive. Um, but this one's only when it's negative. So when it's I think, you don't put subjunctive. When it's I don't think, and creer says the same. Again, if the verb's the same, so if it's I think I'm going to do something, then we take the K out, put this in the normal present tense, and then put the infinitive. Right? So it's only when there's a change of subject here and when it's negative. Okay, so I've just kind of given you some more information about that, just to clarify those two. So I said we could have no creer que, which is the same thing. But again, if it was creer que, that would take that wouldn't take the subjunctive. What else can we have? <clears throat> oh, some examples of what I was saying before. So dudo que mi hermano venga. I doubt my brother will come. So I'm doing the doubting and my brother's coming. So that's why we use a subjunctive. But this one, I doubt I will come. I'm doing the doubting and I'm coming. 
and so there's no change of subject so we put the infinitive okay read that you don't need to ask me to go through that the imperfect subjunctive is used if the trigger so if the, the first bit they doubting I used to doubt that is in the past and the next verb will need to be an imperfect subjunctive right so you have a little look at the notes on that and the other and the other video okay and here's an example it's possible que viniera en aquel entonces it's possible that he came then but it, the trigger doesn't necessarily have to be in the past. Dudaba que mi madre recibiera noticias. I doubted my mum would receive any news. So this one's an imperfect, an imperfect subjunctive. Okay, so we could have after verbs of wanting and influencing. So like querer que, again I put the infinitive here. If it's the same subject, same as before, we just take the K out and put the infinitive. So it's only when there's a change of subject, I want her to play tennis, or I want her to visit the cathedral, or visit me. Exigir que, to demand that. Hacer que. So an example, quiero que me compres un regalo, I want you to buy me a present. So as I said, if the subjects stay the same, you just use infinitive. And if the trigger leads to a past tense in the second clause, in the second bit after this, then use the imperfect subjunctive. <clears throat> so we could also have after value judgments. Es necesario que. Es escandaloso que. Es importante que. All of these take subjunctive afterwards. Es imprescindible que. So an example. Es imprescindible, imprescindible que visites Madrid. It's important that you visit Madrid. So try and add in some phrases into your answers when you're doing it. Um, so like, I want my parents to take me next year. Quiero que mis madres, mi padres me lleven al año próximo. If you're doing the, um, if you're doing the holiday topic, es necesario que lleves crema de sol. It's necessary to wear sun cream. So those are my ideas if you're doing your your topic on holidays. Okay, so just rewind it back and have a little look if you're unsure on how to form it.